Oh, great. Okay. There's so many. Yeah. We don't have means to deal with them yet. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, you still have one at least. Oh crap. Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Right, if they change Brad's death. Because in the original Resident Evil 3 game. Brad died to Nemesis. He didn't die to a Zombo. Oh, gun. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, he died to it. He died to the um. Uh. Did he die? Uh. Right. I'm. Right. I'm not gonna fire the bullets. I'm not gonna waste my time firing bullets at you, buddy. I'm getting the hell out of here. Crap. Now, I've got to mention, guys, like I said, I played a little bit as early, so I, I'm a bit aware, but also, to let you all know, I haven't pl I haven't looked at any spoilers or anything. I've, I'm have i playing this mostly blind. Yep, thank you. So, like I said, I'm not blind in this part, but the rest of the game I am. Come on, there's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can the take you. The only safe place is in here. Okay. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? <laughs> Old fashioned. Now, that guy is important. Now, in Resident Evil lore, in the manga, if you don't know what a manga is, guys, that's Japanese manga. That's sorry, not Chinese manga, not Japanese, my bad. It's a um, Chinese manga. There was a story about this guy that him and his family were trying to run away from zombies and, well, he kind of abandoned them. And he stayed there till his death. Basically, he died. Ooh, bullets. Give me. Uh, yeah, triangle. Spacing. So he stays to his dies. So he doesn't get out of the city, guys. He dies. I can't remember if he died to um. Get to the yeah. I don't know if he. I can't remember if he died through um starvation or he eventually gets out, but the zombies get him. Cause I do remember it ended with you know the, seeing the corpse of his um wife and child. Now, whether or not that's still the same thing in this version, because like I said, this is a bit of a retelling. Okay, time to the elevator. Oh, ah, bloody hell. Zombos. Yeah, I'm not wasting bullets on you two. Let's get the hell out of here. Buzz off. Come on. So yeah. I will try and show some Easter eggs as much as I can and explain them as best I can. Somebody tells me that's not as easy as you're gonna think, Joe. What the? Well, that was a bust. Oh, great. How the hell did you get up here that quick? Sorry. Why is he in sorry? He's dead.
You know, Nemesis is quite an agile guy if he can climb up a building that quick. It's my turn, bitch. <laughs> Man, Jill, you've got quite the potty mouth. Make it off me, you asshole. What the? Ooh. Okay. Two things we need to talk about here. One. A car just fell on top of Nemesis. How the hell is he not being cleaved in half or have his innards crushed? I don't know. And how is Jill even conscious? Doing that would knock you silly. I don't care what you say. And there's his ugly mug for all of the glory. Trying to get back. Jesus. Charmin. Wait, did he just catch a rocket? Um, okay. How does he alive? Normally when it comes hey, to big monsters, you. rockets usually oh, yeah. kill them. What do you do? Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Oh, hello, Carlos. There's the other protagonist. Okay, how in the hell, right? How in the hell did Nemi survive that? Normally when any big guy gets hit with a rocket launcher, they tend to die. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. Yep. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. So I'm you say. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Jeez, Jill. Oh, J come show on. some gratitude, love. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go. Tyrant around. of the deep. Hey, Alien. You know so basically, guys, there are some like references to movies in here. I mean, that one, Air Combat, guys, is. Tommy Clo Clooney. <laughs> oh, good God. Yeah, these are movie references. That's reference to Top Gun. If you don't know these movies, do check out these movies. Because these were around during like the 90s. So, do check them out. Skull Stalker, which is Terminator. So, pretty much like that. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. <clears throat> Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You come Right. In. this way <laughs> dino bites red and yellow if you look at the characters closely guys it's represented to m&ms or whatever sweet state like they've they've formed like you know what i mean let's have a look lobster i don't remember what this one's about that's supposed to be it like the whole it scene terminator there's a lot of fun like references there it is terminator Big E, I think Big E, guys, is um, Big Trouble in Little China. Because that's what the poster looks like to me. <clears throat> but it's also, I think, of a rock band as well. Marvel Comics, must read. <clears throat> so as you can see, guys, these are all the games from um, you know, from the Capcom series. Like, you got Ryu there from Street Fighter. You've got Mega Man. You've got... Um, I think it was like go goblins and ghouls and all that. So basically, all the other like former Capcom games are in here. So that's a nice touch. I love that. That is a good touch. I have to admit that is a good touch. Alright, how do I get into this car? <clears throat> ah, there we go. Hey, 
The captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. <laughs> my, oh my, what a socky first bitch. First things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Jill, you're a bit of a socky bitch, but I can understand her reasonings, but still, you know, you're in a crisis situation. I wouldn't be too, you know, you know, socky about it. But anyhow, let's get on with it. Now, you may wonder, who are the UBCS? Well, you've heard their name. There are two militant factions in the Umbrella Corporation. The UMBC and the UBCS. The UBC is basically... They're basically paramilitary who will help people, right? However, the UMBC, however, are the Black Ops version, such as Hunk. Hunk is part of that group. They're meant to be like the like the face, like they're meant to help people if something goes wrong and everything. Supposed to be like paramilitary and all that. <clears throat> Tells you about the handgun thing. So I'm happy they kept that in the whole, you know, making handgun, you know, part. Because that's good. That's a good thing to get. Because that was a thing in the original Resident Evil 3 game. Because you had to go around making your own bullets. Now, in the original Resident Evil 3, you had... I think it was... C, Triple C, Triple B... That's it. Triple C, C, Triple B, B, Triple A, A. Types of, like, making materials to make bullets. And... That's how you got your bullets for various guns. Right, what's this? Tower front page. <clears throat> okay, it's all about like what's happened. But um like what was going on. Now if you're wondering what the timeline is in this game, I'll explain the timeline. The timeline is you have the mansion incident. Then in July, and then. Jill, Jill. Oh. Me again. You topside yet? Topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tank got me clearing the tracks. You might get in the subway, subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Yeah, that was on the controller, guys. If you didn't hear it, but as we're saying. Oh, excuse me. You had the mansion incident first, and then you had this incident, which happened about two months later, and then... What the hell is that? Ugh. Okay. And then you had the Resident Evil 2. You see, the way this is all about is, guys, this follows her just before Resident Evil 2 kicked off, and then 
we had Resident Evil 2, then we go back to her. That's how the timeline worked. Ooh, green herb. Nice. Gunpowder. Now, I do recommend with the gunpowder, hold it off for a little while. Oh, now these are a new thing, right? These are the crates, right? They're all over the city, as far as I'm aware. And when you hit them... Ooh! A red herb right away. Nice. I didn't open this one, like I said, but... Like I said, I was doing all these testings. Right, I need a key for that. Combine items. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. First red, green herb. Nice. 